And uh, this will be the agenda, so it will be uh, quite intensive for one hour. First, we will talk about what is smart tool. Then I will show you how is the training and certification process, how you can get your training reports, which dashboards and information you can you can easily get into, uh, your messaging inbox, which will be the place where you can see all the communication between smart tool and yourself, and then other features for trainers, for managers. One very interesting surprise feature that I'm that I'm leaving for the, for the final, which is the serial search feature, and then some some resources. So let's go for uh, the overview of uh, Smart Tool. Uh, Smart Tool is basically an online platform that will enable get IT, uh, so now live and map centers and will allow you to manage, monitor, and report your training activities. Uh, it's a, a very simple to use tool that will help you uh, not only registering your trainings, but also to generate reports, check your evaluations, uh, print certificates, uh, as well as many other features. So I will begin with uh, talking about the, the training and certification process. The smart tool will allow trainers to completely manage the training process from the beginning when you register your students till the end in which you get your certificates for your students uh, and, and basically you print them and you hand over to, to your students. So there will be branded certificates available for your students that you can print at the end of the training. These certificates will be globally branded. So your institution logo will also be on these, uh, these certificates, as well as information about the number of hours of the training, the topics that the student uh, attended. Also, each certificate will be secured with a serial number, and I'm going to explain you uh, a bit more uh, that uh, on details later. Uh, but basically, this serial number will ensure that uh, uh, that um, fake certificates uh, are not being printed um, around. So each each uh, certificate will have a unique number that can identify who took the training and which topics um, were attended by by that particular uh, by that particular trainee this is an example of the the certificate so as you can see you will see on the on the right side the logo of the program either it's live or it's map program on the header, on the on the center area, you will see the the logo of the organization that is providing the the certificate. You also have the the date, the name of the the student, the topics that the student attended, who was the trainer, and on, on the on the footer area, you can check here the certificate serial number which I will be going into more details uh, in like 20 minutes. So let's go for the most important part is how you can register your map uh, or live trainings. So this is, um, this is a, a workflow of uh, how a training gets registered on, on Smart Tool. Of course, for enter in Smart Tool, you need to have your username and your username and password. So I hope all of you already have your username and, pa uh, and password to, to log in into Smart Tool. If you don't have, uh, at the end of this session, I can provide you with, uh, with the, your account details in case you, know, you haven't received them. But let me go into the details of how to, uh, how to register a training. So everything starts when the trainer logs in into the system and creates the class. As soon as you create the class, you will have to add your student details. The, the, the details that are, are required by the tool is the first name of your student, the last name of your student, and the email and the phone. If you don't have for any reason the phone, 
that uh, that detail is not um, is not uh, required. So you, you can still move forward without having the phone of, of your student. As soon as you add the students to the class, um, a notification will be sent to the student and a notification will be sent to the manager. And all that happens before the training. So then you will deliver your training and at the very end of the training, on the last day, what the trainer has to do is to log in again on Smart Tool and then click on a button saying that the, I want to close the training. As soon as you close the training, a link will be sent to your student uh, with, um, with an evaluation form. So as soon as your student fills in the evaluation form, a certificate is generated in PDF. And then you can print and hand over the certificate. The student receives the certificate. And as soon as you provided all the certificates to your students, you can archive the training. And the manager gets notified that the training is over. Also, you will see in, in two um, in two of these uh, green boxes that there is an asterisk there on receive link for evaluation and fill evaluation form. And the reason why this asterisk is here is because we, al we also thought about centers that are providing trainings in remote areas where internet is not available. So for some reason if uh, in the venue that you are providing training, you don't have access to internet, so your students can't go online and fill in the evaluation form. There is an option for you to print, um, to print the evaluation forms in paper, and then your students will, uh, will fill the evaluation forms on paper. And as soon as you get back to the office where you have internet, you will fill the, the evaluation forms in, the, in Smart Tool on behalf of your students. So even if you don't have internet in the place where you are going to deliver the training, you can still register and move forward all along the, the, the whole process um, on, on Smart Tool. So let's see a demonstration of uh, how this can be done. Can you see my screen? Okay, so this is the um, this is the basically the the smart tool. You can access it to smart.mai.org, and uh, on the left side you will have uh, your um, uh, a login box in which you have to provide your username and password. So I'm going to log in into the system. And I'm going to switch my profile to trainer because you can have different profiles in, in, smart, in smart Tool. Either you are um, an organization manager with some features, either you are a trainer with some other features. So as a trainer, you have the possibility to click on trainings and then start a new end user training. So whenever you start a new training, the first thing to do is to, uh, to choose in which center the training will take place. And it will only appear centers that are attached to your profile. So I'm going to choose HP Training Center Geneva because it's the only center that is attached to my, to my profile. And the second thing is to say if whether the training is taking place in the center itself or somewhere else because I can deliver the training not in this training center but in a, in a hotel, in a, in a school, so in different places. In that case you will have to say no and to write where, the, where will be the venue for the training. In this case I will, I will, 
I will choose that the training is taking place in the center. I will choose the start date for the training. It will be on 15th November. The end date, 19th of November. The language in which the training will take place. So it will be a training in English. It's a 20 hours training and the program or the curriculum that I will be delivering will be T-Tools. So here you will, ha you will have an option to choose which curriculum you are using. If you are enrolled to the, to the live program, you will not see the MAP curriculum. If you are only on MAP program, you will not see the T-Tools curriculum. So I'm going to choose T-Tools and there will be a pre-selection of all T-Tools topics. So here you will have to choose which ones you are going to deliver. So right now I'm not going to deliver all of them, just some of them. So I choose the topics that I'm going to deliver and I have to hit the save button. And now my training is created. The second step, as you remember from my previous slide, is to add participants to the training. So I'm going to add a participant. So it's Robert Andrade. I'm going to fill in his email. And his telephone, let's say that I don't have his telephone number. So I'm going to save the student without adding the telephone. So as you can see here in the participant list, now we have one participant. I can, I can repeat that process 10 times, 15 times to enroll all my students. But for the demo, I will not, uh, I will not enroll more people. It was just to give you an example. Now the next step would be to select I will check this box and click on notify checked students and go to the next step. So I'm going to notify the student by email clicking on, on this button. So now what will happen is that Robert and Rad will be notified by email that a new training uh, he, he, he was enrolled in a new training and here is an example of the email that Robert Andrade will receive. So let me show you. So this is the email that he will be receiving saying, Dear Robert Andrade, you have been enrolled to a live training. Who, who is the organization in which training center it will take place? What is the address? Who is the trainer? what's the start date, end date, and the topics that are going to be, to be covered. So all that information is sent directly from Smart Tool to your student. So you don't need to notify him uh, on your behalf. You can use the platform to do it. Um, so let's imagine now that the training already took place and we are at the very end on the last day of the training. One of the things that can happen uh, is that probably your some of your students missed some classes so you don't want to certify them in all the topics because let's say that Robert Andrade he, he didn't uh, show up on the expand tracking topic so one of the things that you can do is to edit the topics that he attended clicking on this button you will be able to choose in which topics you are going to certify this student. So I will say that he didn't show up on the expense tracking class. So I uncheck this checkbox and I submit it. Okay, it was changed correctly. Also, if uh, I, I finally managed to get his phone number, I can edit the student and fill in his phone number. And the next step that I will that I will do is I'm going to close the training and send the evaluation form to my student. Also the example that I mentioned before in case you don't have internet in your 
in your uh, in your training uh, in the place where you are uh, uh, having the training you can always check this box I will fill myself the surveys later and download the evaluation form on an Excel format but that's not what I want now what I want now is to close training and send evaluation form so I'm going to click on this button and press on OK so now the training is over and basically I'm wait the status is that I'm waiting for my students to fill the evaluation uh, the evaluation form if for some reason they didn't receive you can also use this button resend survey notification to your student so let's go to Robert Andrade email and check his email to see what he received so this is e the email that Robert Andrade has received and it says you have successfully finished your training in order to get your certificate for the training you will need to fill out an evaluation form please click on the following link and fill out the form so the student is supposed I'm going just to log out here the student is supposed to click on this link and this link will will bring the student to smart tool I'm going to click go to survey and the student will evaluate the training so let me just quickly evaluate how was the training you have uh, a very short questionnaire to say how for your students to say uh, if uh, there was class uh, uh, adequate class participation how you rate the training uh, etc so there are basically 13 questions that are asked to the student and then he can submit the evaluation as soon as the student submits the evaluation if you log in as the trainer I'm going to I have to log in back with my account what will happen let me go here to trainings and here I have my tra my training here with the uh, with next step is training closed waiting for evaluation forms uh, filling so I'm going to resume this training and what I can see is that Robert Andrade already filled the evaluation form so what I can do now is to print his certificate and archive the training so let me archive the training and as soon as you archive the training what happens is that uh, you will have a complete report of the training so you have um, the the participants that that were in, in your training as you can see here uh, right after each certified student you will see a button saying view certificate so you can click on this button and here you have your certificate for your student in PDF format so what you have to do is to print the certificate um, and deliver to the student and, and sign with your name and deliver to the student also as a trainer since you already archived the training you will have uh, the possibility to download the evaluation report so if you click on this button you can check how the students evaluated this training you won't have access to individual evaluations you will see an average evaluation in all the different indicators so here you will see for example that uh, uh, tra 10 trainees uh, filled in the, the evaluation form the total average evaluation was 4.64 and you will see an average evaluation for each question also the questions that have um, that have qualitative information also they they will all be displayed here um, 
on the on the lower part okay so this was an an example let me stop the sharing to go back to the presentation so this was an example of the whole process that you have to go through in order to register a training and uh, from the beginning till the end so first i created the class then i added the students at the end i closed the training and as soon as the students fill in the evaluation form i was able to to print and deliver the certificates and at the end i archived training so basically this is the process also i showed you the training report is um, is something that uh, you can have access either being a trainer or organization manager so the manager always receives notification of what's going on in their centers so if a new training is created the manager is informed by email if a new if a training has ended also the manager is informed and the manager also can have access to the training reports the other feature that i want to talk about is the dashboard so as soon as you log in the first screen on smart tool will provide you with a dashboard this dashboard will have the latest training information so as you can see here in this print screen i have the last 20 end user training in your organization so you have here uh, a list of all the trainings that are taking place how many trainees were, uh, were enrolled what is the status and what's the average evaluation also you have some statistics uh, that will provide you with the number of certified trainers you have in your organization number of trainings that were held in your organization number of certified students and the average student uh, average students number per training also you will have some charts uh, comparing uh, your trainers so who are your top trainers that are getting better evaluations or are um, are training the the biggest number of, uh, of of students so there will be some information for you either if you are a organization manager or a trainer there will be different information but um, both of them has uh, have access to a dashboard the other feature that i would like to enhance here is your messaging inbox since um, one of the the biggest problems when we are we are working with the email especially uh, a platform that sends uh, hundreds of emails every day is that some of some of these emails can really go to the spam folder so it doesn't reach your students it doesn't reach yourself so that's why we created a, a messaging inbox even for some reason if you don't receive the emails that smart tool will be sending you whenever you create a training or whenever a student fills an evaluation form you can have access to all the messages that were sent from smart tool on your smart tool inbox so on the on the left side of your screen just below the login box where you see this uh, red uh, rectangle you have a go to inbox button if you click on that button you will have access to all the messages that you received and also all the sent messages all the messages that you you have sent to to your students you can always go and check uh, all the messages here there are some other features uh, that are interesting for trainers and i'm going to mention just just three of the of them the first one it should be done as soon as you log in for the first time on smart tool which is updating your profile and your skill self-assessment it's very important that you update your profile with the with the latest information about you uh, so that the platform can can recognize your email can recognize in um, which languages you speak for example so it's important that you update not only your profile but your skill self-assessment your skill self-assessment is very important for us to better understand the needs of um, 
of our tra uh, trainers network uh, in terms of training purposes with the with the skills self-assessment we will be able to know in which areas we should provide more support to our trainers also you can print all your certificates even if the training is over and for some reason one student um, lost his certificate you are uh, you are always able to to print again to reprint your certificate you will have a button on um, on smart tool that says print your certificates you can always click there and have access to all your certificates also if you have if you are a trainer you can click on the upgrade opportunities button and check whether there is some um, some new trainings for you so either if you we are um, if we are uh, having um, a master training of trainers or some other trainings that are interesting for you you can check what is going on on the upgrade opportunities button and then enroll in these trainings if you are interested also if you are a manager there are some interesting features for you besides the ones that i uh, i've already shown you the first one is to update your organization profile so it's important as well i would like to highlight that it's very important that you update your organization profile especially with the logo because uh, the logo that um, that you upload into smart tool is the one that will be displayed on the certificates so if you don't upload a logo to your organization profile your certificates will not have your organization logo so it's important to do that also if new managers are are uh, if ch managers are changing in your organization uh, you have a new colleague that is helping you managing the, the program, you can add new managers through the platform. Also, if you, if you opened new training centers within your organization, you can add these new centers uh, from the platform. Also, uh, if you want to propose new trainers to be certified, that should happen tr through Smart Tools. So you propose a new trainers, we will be informed and we will be informing the trainer whenever there is a, a TOT so that he can enroll and start his certification process as a trainer. Um, then the, the, I'm, I'm almost at the end and I will, um, we will have uh, a short period for, for your questions. So just uh, keep your questions for, for more five minutes. Uh, one of the last features that I wanted to show you is the certificate search. And this feature is available um, to everyone. You don't need to have a smart, uh, a smart tool account to, to get access to this uh, feature. So let's say that, um, as an example, let's say that you handed over a, um, a certificate for one of your students and your student is going to an interview to get a job how the um, how the person in, in in front of him can check if the certificate is is valid or not because some people might uh, copy the certificate and change their name so we needed to have uh, a system to ensure that that we can check the validity of the um, of the certificate so you will see and i'm going to show you here you will see that each certificate on the lower part you have a serial number and it says certificate serial and then you have 10173 to check authenticity visit smart.mei.org so what the the employer can do is to go into smart.mei.org click on this button in which you you see uh, here with the uh, red rectangle fill in the serial number and as soon as you hit the search button you will see the real details for the certificate 10173 so you can see that it was issued to patricia cuba it was a training held from 1st november till 6th november and these are the topics that uh, patricia was certified so you can always check whether the certificate in front of you is real or not so this was one other thing that uh, uh, that is available for you. Also, um, 
I would like to to highlight that the the smart tool now is available in English and is uh, uh, we also provided um, a Google Translate widget on the right side of smart tool where you can see here the Google logo you have the select language button so this will allow you to translate in real time a smart tool into one of uh, any 52 languages that Google supports so the translation is not perfect we are working on adding real translations and and proofread translations to smart tool but for now you can still use it uh, with this Google Translate um, option the last thing is just to share with you where can you find resources so uh, everything that I talked about here in this webinar uh, um, for example how to how to check your training report how to get access to the dashboard how to add new centers how to create a training uh, all these features we, uh, for, uh, about all these features we created small training videos and you can find all these videos on smart.mai.org slash help.html so clicking on this button um, you will be redirected to a page with more than 13 different videos explaining you the different features and the different things that you can do in smart tool so if you have any question this will be the place to go also if for some reason um, there are things that you cannot you can do or you found a bug or something that you are not being able to uh, to to address please contact us to the support email which is smart at mayai.org so we we normally we we answer in 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 minutes sometimes it takes uh, 24 hours but normally we are very quick to help you um, in, in in everything you need so having said that and before going to, to uh, before going to the questions and answers um, stage I just want to share with you some numbers so we launched um, the smart tool less than two months ago so it's it's already online for a uh, for two months um, and we have around 40 trainings already registered in smart tool we have more than 400 students that already were certified through smart tool uh, we have uh, around 400 trainers that have accounts in smart tool so the the progress is being very successful so far and and we really need you to to get into the process and start using smart tool um, in your um, in your trainings so thank you very much for your attention and now let's open a space for for question and answers